depending on what time you're watching this video and from where you're watching this video. Welcome to another video. Before I begin, I just want to say Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I'm so excited for the new year. I'm excited to see um, what comes of this new year for myself, for my family, for everybody on here that I have as subscribers. I can't wait to see all the good content and creativeness of every single one of you. So excited. So this is going to be my last video that I film in 2018. So I thought I would show you guys how I curl my hair with a straightener. Now if this is something that is that interests you then just keep on watching okay so I have done a video before where I mentioned a couple of launch products but I tried some of the products and I actually really really enjoyed them and so I got a straightener from them and I didn't mention this one before because I hadn't received it yet but this is the launch I don't know if I can pronounce it right this is the appliter appliter um but it's um pretty similar to the other straightener some of the straighteners are made out of titanium instead of ceramic and then they have a couple more different options as to the heating settings and that kind of thing but this one does amazing and it also has a swivel cord which I think most in general all of them have it now but I love it it's a blush pink it's like velvety kind of feeling to it and it has the name right there this is what I normally use to curl my hair now I do have a 32 milliliter from the brand new me and I still use that every now and then I just find that for some reason this is just a lot faster a lot easier for me to use being a mom of two kids you know you need something that is gonna be fast for you that heats up fast let's start curling my hair so first thing I do before I curl my hair is I brush my hair out now this is a brush from the brand eco tools I love this brush now launch did come out with their brushes and I'm really excited to try it I haven't been able to order any because they have been sold out unfortunately but hopefully once they get back in stock I will purchase a hairbrush but I just brush my hair out and then I put some of this uh, Lange Revival Heat Shield. It's keratin infused, locks out humidity. I love this stuff and it kind of smells pretty good. I don't know. I, I, I enjoy it. Let's do that real quick. This is um, second day hair. So normally when it's like that, I also like to put in a little bit of dry shampoo. Also for the brand Lange, and let me warn you, all these products are gonna be from Lange, so just an FYI. Um, but this is called the Deja Vu Dry Shampoo. It's a cleanser and texturizer, so you can put it all over your hair to give it some texture. I normally don't, especially when I curl my hair. I use, I try to use like a sea salt spray. I'm just gonna do this at the very roots. Um, one, to give it some volume, and two, to kind of, you know, cleanse the hair from any oils that has, that it has um, retained these past days. Run my fingers through it, kind of as if like I'm washing my hair. <laughs> movie in the background my my daughter is in the background watching a movie so I should probably turn that down just in case you guys can hear that okay so I had to get another card for my camera because the other one was full I am going to go ahead and spray my hair with the revival heat shield and I'm just gonna spray it all over especially um, get the ends of your hair And then what I like to do is just brush uh, through my hair. Now, I always part my hair, just one part, um, because I did cut my hair. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I cut my hair, I wanna say maybe about like two, no, well, more than that. Probably like at the beginning of December, so it's grown quite a bit, but I had it a little bit shorter, um, and before that I had it a lot longer, so. I don't know, I don't know which one I like. I have days where I love the short hair, and then I'm just like, I wish I had long hair, and then I'm like, no, I'm glad I have short hair. Anyways, okay, so I am going to start and I like to start from the back and just grab small strands from the back part. And what I do is I kind of just start by like flat ironing right there just to make sure it's like nice and flat. And then can you guys see? Let me zoom you in a little bit see if you guys can. Okay. And then what I like to do is I grab that strand, that same strand, and I flip out like towards my face. 
and then I leave the end part out. So once I get close to the end, I kind of just unravel it back and then straight down. And that's what it looks like. So I'll do another one here. So I'll grab from the back of my little section and then just kind of flat iron it here and then I go towards my face and keep turning and keep turning and then once I get to the very end like the very last strand I unravel it or unwind it whatever you want to call it and then go straight down and it kind of it kind of leaves this last part like straight it doesn't curl the, the ends of it and it it helps to give it more of like that natural beachy wave textured kind of look to your hair so I'm gonna continue doing this and um, yeah. now you can if you want to give your hair a little bit of more texture instead of um, doing every strand like towards your face you can actually go outward and get some more practice here go outward and just do the same thing but instead of going towards your face go away from your face and then you unwind it again and it still gives you that nice little uh, curl to your strand and it leaves your hair straight at the bottom but once you hook it to the I mean once you hook it once you add it to the other strands it kind of gives it a little bit different texture so not all your strands are kind of the same just depends on how you want to do it if you want them all the same that's fine that's what I normally do is just do everything the same way but it's totally up to you so I'm gonna continue doing this Every now and then I like to like brush through the section just to make sure there's no knots, shouldn't say clumps, knots in my hair. Okay, so that's what that side looks like. So I went ahead and did my makeup guys for tonight. Um, we're not going to do anything special but we are just going to go to my parents house and hang out. Um, but I just wanted to do something. I'm going to continue doing my hair. So let's do this.
finished curling my hair so this is what it looks like you can go back and if there's like a little bitty pieces that you know you find that you didn't get a good curl out of look at this little guy here then you can just um obviously go back and curl that one but yeah this is what the final look looks like all right so the final step what i like to do um let me turn this off is put in a little bit of sea salt spray so i usually use the this is the only product i don't have that is launch and i know launch has a sea salt spray and i can't say you know offhand that it's very very good because i've never tried it but i've heard great things about it so but this is the way the wave wave spray the way wave spray this stuff is amazing i love this stuff i use this on me i use it on mia so what I do is just kind of go through my hair, spray it in there, crunch it up a little bit, see there's... So just kind of spray it all over and it kind of gets that sticky feeling, but I promise you once it dries, it does not feel sticky at all once it dries. Um, but yeah, so this is the final look on my hair.